Hello, Geminis. So the last reading I did, I was getting that you're, you either, a lot of you, it's kind of divided. Some of you already have a new person that's just come in. Some of you, this energy is coming in soon. But there is new love here for this energy group. Um, and you're going to, the, the reading I did last, a, a couple, about a month ago, I was getting that you're going to notice the difference in energy between your pretentious ex and a true alpha. So someone, and this could be alpha male, alpha female. This is someone who is genuinely confident, genuinely assertive in healthy ways, um, healthy masculinity or femininity. But it's there's going to be a major difference between the, in, that energy and your ex because your ex was pretentious and he or she might have tried to put on a show and make it seem like they were confident, make it seem like they had everything together. And I think it kind of confused you almost. It made you feel like that energy isn't to be trusted. But you're going to notice when this new person comes in, if they have not come in yet for you, you're really going to notice the energy difference between someone who's, you know, putting on a show and someone who's just genuinely confident and comfortable in their own skin and in their power. So let's see what the message is right now. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement, power struggle, chaser, chasey, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, true love, potential life partner. So yeah, two different energies here. Happiness, warmth, and light. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Domination, control. Spying. Ooh. And choose a path. Interestingly enough, I got similar energy for Sagittarius. So for some of you, your person might be a fire sign. Because um, I do sense a love triangle here, which is, you know, very similar to the Sagittarius reading I did a little bit ago. Um, so I'm wondering if there's a connection there for some of you to, uh, to a Sagittarius. But I feel like someone from your past is jealous and they are going to try to block this potential life partner that has either just come in or they're coming in. You can probably feel their energy. You might be channeling them, picking up on their energy. Um, some of you haven't met them yet. Some of you have. But this person is trying to stop you from manifesting this. This person is trying to hold on tightly to you. Because you have someone that's brave and someone who is assertive and courageous. And um, it's like chariot kind of energy here moving forward. And then I see this little roadblock. This is like chaser, chasey, power struggle. It's like this person is jealous, you know, bet bet betrayal, jealousy, conflict. They're trying to create drama in your life. They're trying to block other people from coming in. Um, they could be trying to do spell work. Could just be putting the intention in of not letting someone else come in. But I do not see them being successful. I feel like this person is kind of obsessed with you. I feel like they're consistent, but they're not very powerful. They're more, more than anything, they're just annoying because they're very set in their ways and they're not wanting to let you go. And there's some kind of power struggle here. But I feel like your true love is going to come in either way. Like this person might make it take a little bit longer than it would have otherwise. Like they might just create... It's like an insect, you know, creating these little nuisances here and there, but they don't actually have any real power. Like they're, they're tiny, but it's like the fear of the unknown. People are still afraid of them. Um, you know, but like when you kind of look at them, you realize, you start realizing like, well, this, it's, they're probably just as afraid of me. Like they're probably just as intimidated by you as you are of them. This could also be for some of you. A jealous friend because um, there is kind of like a feminine energy here and I don't know if it's a ma like a masculine that's in feminine energy right now or if it's actually a, like a, just a female but 
this could also be like a third party situation where um, there could be a third party trying to block your person from coming to you either on your end or their end. So this could be their third party or your third party situation. I also feel like this could potentially be a friend that's jealous of you and she does not want to see you doing better than her. Like she doesn't want, she might know, it's kind of like keep your, your friends close, but your enemies closer kind of energy. She might know that you're trying to manifest this or she might feel like your, um, like you have love coming in or you're prettier than her, something, some kind of jealousy. But I just get that she's more of a hassle. He or she is more of a hassle more than anything. And, you know, you guys will be successful. This will come in even if there's some roadblocks. But it'd be good to like meditate and visualize and put protection around you and your person. Um, like road opening work, that kind of thing would be really good for you guys because I just feel like this is a divinely guided connection. So, People are going to be jealous. They're going to wish that they could have that for themselves. But they're not going to be able to ultimately block you, even if they do cause some disturbances and they do stress you out or stress them out a little bit. Um, sooner or later, what's meant to be is going to be. So you got happiness, warmth, light here. It's like this almost like angelic connection, like this divinely guided connection, like that light will come through and clear this fog away. Um, it's like this, this person, they're, they're just not going to be successful. They might, they might annoy you a bit, but they ultimately, you're going to win this battle. Um, or your person is, if your person's stuck in this, this karmic situation, they're, they're, um, going to get through this. I feel like this person is also jealous too, because they see that your person is, um, like more assertive than them, like courageous, assertive, strong, like everything that they if, if it's someone that's in love with you then it's like this person is everything that they can't be this person is like a genuine um like genuine alpha energy you know someone who's genuinely confident and this person's jealous that they can't be like that and they can't match that energy or this person is jealous that they can't have someone like that like this person that you're gonna have is just the entire package they're very strong they have a lot of life experience and, you know, this person that you might be friends with might be jealous that you're going to have something that they just can't have. They can't manifest that. Maybe their current partner is, um, you know, kind of insecure or weak or whatever else. Or they're single. They've been single for a long time. And you probably feel this energy, too. Like, if you kind of notice if you have a certain – this is just for a few of you. If you notice you have, like, a certain friend and when you tell them – about, um, you know, like a date you're going on or you tell them about this guy or girl that you like and you kind of notice that like their energy doesn't seem supportive. They're like, oh, that's cool. Like, but something feels off. Like you feel that jealousy. Don't ignore your intuition. That's your, those are your spirit guides trying to tell you, hey, something's not sitting right. This person might be jealous of you. This person might be the type that just does not like to see other people succeeding and happier than they are. This person might be a very bitter, toxic person that you might want to cut out of your life. Um, but either way, someone's jealous. You know, there's a, there's a couple different stories here, but someone is jealous. But the the point is though that they're not going to win. Your your true love is going to win. Your potential life partner is very strong, very assertive, and so they're and you're you're matching this energy. It's almost like you guys are feeding on each other's energy in a positive way. Like their strength gives you strength, and vice versa. So you guys will get through this energy, whoever this is that's jealous of you too. Um, cause you guys will be a power couple is what I'm feeling. This is going to be a very strong partnership, very healthy, very assertive, very stable. And if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth and, you know, look into specific details for your situation, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates. So, so yeah, with happiness, warm flight here, it's like you have this like divinely guided, pure connection that, that they just jealous people are upset about it, but they can't, they can't stop this, um, home, safe space. You guys are going to feel like at home together and, you know, this person's going to be dominant, but in a healthy way, this could be like sexually dominant too. Like, I feel like it's going to be something that you both want. Like it's going to be something that makes you happy, even if it's unfamiliar and you haven't experienced that in a relationship before. It's like, you're going to like it when it comes in is what I'm feeling like. It's going to be 
it's just going to be different. You know what I mean? Like you might have had like toxic, like people that want to be in a dominant energy, but really they're just scared and insecure and they're, you know, trying to be overly macho or overly aggressive, male or female. But this person is like genuinely just strong and stable. And you're going to, like I said, you're going to understand that energy difference here. You will have an ex spying on you. Um, and you'll have to just choose a path because some of you might really have to do cut and clear work on this person. Some of you might feel bad for this person. I feel like you feel like whether this is a friend or a lover, if that's, if that, if you're in that group where this is someone that you know, as opposed to someone your person knows, I feel like some of you might feel bad for them. Like you might feel kind of guilty, um, just that they're so alone, that they're so bitter, that they don't have anyone that like you were their support system and you just kind of feel bad for them and they might be spying on you and being jealous and you might have to choose here like because if you keep entertaining this and you keep allowing your empathy to get the best of you with this person and you keep like feeling bad for them they're gonna keep draining you like a psychic vampire so you might need to choose at some point like do you really want to keep doing this and keep you know letting this person into your life or do you want to cut this out and free your energy up for new and better things Show me more about the new love. So, so this is either like saying what's coming or the current energy, or for some of you, you're already in this energy and it's just kind of saying like there might be jealous people around you, but don't worry about it. Just stay strong. Keep supporting each other, you know, keep supporting each other. Keep, um, you know, protecting them with your, your intentions, your visualizations, meditation, affirmation. Um, and you guys will get through this energy. This person is going to, they're just annoying. They're not strong. They're just, it's how consistent they are. That's the problem with them is that they're just so jealous and so consistent, but they will fall away eventually. And like I said, for some of you, you do, you're going to need to be assertive here and you're going to need to stop feeling sorry for this person and cut this person out so you can free your energy. Some of you know who this person is already, but you've kind of been in like, like if it's like a friend, like a best friend, some of you are kind of like in denial about it. You're like, you don't want to believe it, you know, but you, you need to listen to your intuition about this person. You know, someone's like prideful and they're like trying to stalk your social media and kind of see what's going on. And they like, they just don't, you have a love offer that's either just come in or coming in, or if you're dating someone new, I feel like they're really liking how the relationship's going and they're wanting to take things to the next level. But I just feel like you need to watch out for these, these, this person here that's like stubborn. This is also another uh, situation of, um, for some of you, I feel like this is like a specific message just for a couple of you. Be careful about putting everything on social media because you might have jealous people on your social media. So for those of you that are like, oh my God, he like, he or she just like brought, bought me roses and took me out to dinner. Like I'm so, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. And you're like tagging them. You, you're, this hater might be on like your Facebook or Instagram seeing that being like, oh, why does, why did they deserve that? And I don't deserve that. Like, why are they getting that? Or you might be posting things like, I'm going to find the love of my life. Like I know it's coming. And someone's like, oh, like. Why would you deserve it and not me? There's just some some kind of haters around you that you need to watch out for. Um, and it could be an ex or it could be an, a friend. I feel like you intuitively know who this person is already, though. Like, I feel like it's different for all of you. But I feel like you guys, you know who this is. Um, and you know it's time to, like, protect yourself from this person. But... Um, but I mean, this is wanting to come through. This is this, this love offer. I do feel like it's going to come through. This person might be creating like little road bumps for you here and there. Like, cause there might be, it's like you might be picking up on it or your person might be kind of picking up that there's like this little bit of like attention or like a, not like a major block, but just something feels tense. Something doesn't feel clear. And it's, it's, it's this person that's jealous and bitter, whoever this person is. So when you clear this energy up, and this could be just like an ex that you just need to, to do a cut and clear ritual on, whoever it is, it's like, you do have this love offer, either someone new coming in and wanting to ask you on a date, 
or you guys are already kind of seeing someone new and they would like to to step things up and take things to the next level and kind of let you know how they're feeling. Um, they really admire you. They see you as like this light in their life, male or female. But it's saying that tense energy you're feeling because you might be feeling this like you're feeling some of you might be feeling confused. You're like, I know that new love is in store for me, but I haven't met this person yet. Or like, I know that, you know, this person that I'm seeing now, like I know that they're good for me. I know this is a potential life partner, but I don't know why they're not like asking me to move in or making it, you know what I mean? Take the next step. And it's like the desire is there, but they keep like going to do it or thinking about making that move. And then like, there's just like a tension and it's, it's this annoying little pest of a person that's jealous and trying to create these issues and keep you stagnant and keep you tied down people. It sucks. I know, but people are going, people are always going to be jealous of this kind of relationship that you either have now or that you're about to have. People are always going to be jealous as much as it sucks as much. I know you're like an empath. So you see the best in people. You always just want everyone to be happy, but there's people that are just bitter and negative and unfortunately, no matter how good of a person you are, no matter how loving you are, how caring you are, there's always going to be those that, those couple, pe couple of people that just do not want to see you succeed just because not even, it doesn't have to do with you. Don't take it personally either. It's, it's more about they just, they feel upset that they can't have that, that they're, they're not angelic and sweet and loving and empathetic like you are. They're not as strong as you are. They haven't had the life experience that you've had. They haven't had the, um, they're not as pretty as you or handsome as you. There's, there's always going to be someone that's like jealous of you. And especially with this kind of relationship. Cause like I said, this is like a power couple relationship. This is a strong, stable relationship. This is like, like best friends, lovers, like you guys tell each other everything, honesty, you guys talk about everything. Like this is a really this is like a twin flame or soulmate relationship. This is divinely guided and protected. This is a really powerful connection. So people are going to see that and be bitter and jealous and think, why not me? Especially because you have a genuine alpha here. So this is a genuine alpha male or a genuine alpha female. But like that energy is rare because usually you have like for men, it's usually like these, these guys that like run their mouths and they compete with everyone, but they're really insecure and just overly macho. That's not an alpha male. That is not an alpha male. They want you to think they're alpha males, but they're not. A real alpha male is someone who is strong, assertive. They're, they see you as their equal. They let you do your thing. They're not going to be intimidated by it because they're confident. They know who they are. They know what they deserve. This person is a go-getter. And that energy is rare because a lot of people try to fake that energy, but not many people can actually master that energy the way that your person has. Or it could be, like I said, it could be a, gen, a alpha female, someone, you know, there's a lot of insecure, bitter women out there, but this woman is actually confident. She actually knows that she deserves this rose. And I kind of see it as both like, and this, this applies to gay and lesbian relationships, relationships too. It's, it's could be male, male and female, female, or it could be male, female, whatever it is feel like you guys are kind of both alphas like you're both go-getters you're both strong you're both assertive um and it's just people people are gonna be jealous that you know that they can't be in that energy and that they can't have someone that's in that energy as well you know both it goes both ways so um so yeah it will be a little bit of a of a fight here you know to kind of protect this relationship so it's good to keep up the affirmations and visualizations um, you guys will, I mean, you guys are strong, so you guys will get past this, but, but if you're like thinking like your person wants to reach out or wants to, um, you know, wants to, to make this more official, I mean, they're just, they're feeling the jealousy around them. And I think it's creating a little bit of tension, maybe even tension between you guys, but this can be cleared up. And like I said, one way to clear it up is if you know who this person is, like if you have a friend that's jealous of you and like she, he or she comments every time, every time you dress cute, they're like, Oh, it must be nice to be, you know, attractive enough to wear that dress or something. And you're kind of just like, you play it off like, oh, I bet she's he or she is just joking. But part of you is like, oh, that didn't sit right with me. Like you need to listen to your intuition because I think most of you, like 90% of you already know who this person is and you already know it's time to cut this person out. So choose a path. You want to keep dealing with this crap or you want to cut them out? You know what I mean? 
And even when you do, you're still going to have jealous people around, but not as intense as this one person that keeps coming at you. Um, and just keep shielding and just keep, you know, they'll fall away. They will. They will. Yes. If you guys stay strong, I think these, these jealous people will fall away. But, um, yeah, if this hasn't come in yet, keep manifesting it, keep manifesting, keep being strong. And a lot of you do need to do uncrossing and, and clearing this old energy out so that this can come in if it has not come in for you already. Because like I said, it's like, it's here, like the energy I feel, it's almost like the chariot, but it's like some, okay. So like the chariot is like, it's like this carriage. Like if you look at like the tarot deck, the chariot is like all about forward movement, fast movement. It's like this carriage that's moving forward, being pulled by these horses. It's almost like I see like the chariot and then there's this like annoying little little kid or something, this childish little person that's like standing in front of the carriage like, oh, I'm going to block you. Like you can't. And it's like it's it's not going to block them for good. Like those horses are going to keep moving, but like it's kind of slowing things down. You know what I mean? Like they're kind of having to deal with that. So it's like this, this is still coming. This love is still coming in either way. If you have not met this person or if you guys are like together and like you kind of feel like they want to take things to the next level and you're wondering why they're not um, like it's the energy wants to move. The chariot wants to come forward, but you need to get rid of this annoying little kid so the chariot can come forward full force without having to worry about this little child that's trying to block this. Does that make sense? Um, but the desire is there. Like your person has this desire for this love, for, for this commitment with you, but this energy needs to be cleared because it's creating almost like a awkwardness or like a tension between you. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. Um, please subscribe if it resonates and any donations are appreciated. Thank you guys for watching.